Welcome back to the class, and this is our discussion for step four germination. So, as you know, we have been discussing the processes of the sexual reproduction of flowering plant. Step one, pollination. Step two, fertilization. Step three, dispersal. And our last step here, step four, is germination. So, what is the meaning of germination? So, germination in simple definition is the growth of a seed into a seedling or a young plant. Okay, and there's something that's very important here is what are the condition that the seed needs to germinate. So we have three things here. So the first one is water, oxygen, and warm. Again, this is something that is very important. Water, oxygen, and warm. And some of the people like to remember this as WOW as wow. Again, water, oxygen, or warm. Warm basically means a suitable temperature. Okay? And the growth of a seedling is actually in the sequence as follows. You start with the roots, shoots, and later on the first true leaves. Okay? Now let's look at the diagram here. So first we actually start with this seed, and this seed is actually with the seed coat, okay, to protect. Then the seed will break and the root will start to grow. This is our first step. As you can see, the root is growing. Then step two, the shoot will grow next. So after the root, the shoot will come. Okay, then you slowly grow, grow, and you notice there's something called the seed leaves. Okay. And the seed leaves later on will start to shrink and fall off. Then only the first true leaves will grow. Okay. And this is the point of time where it can trap sunlight and makes it on the food. Okay. Now again, only when these first true leaves grow, then they can make their own food, make its own food. Okay. Its own food. Now let's look at some of the important things to know. The first. Why roots start to grow first? Why? Because you need to have roots to take in what? Water and mineral salt from the soil. Again, root is very important to grow first to take in water and mineral salt. Now, can the baby plant mix its own food? The answer is no. It gets nutrients from the food store in its seed leaves. Now, again, these seed leaves are actually kind of important. Why? Because it the plants get nutrients and from the food store in here. Okay. However, this will shrink and fall off so that these true leaves can grow and make its own food. So here's a the young plant starts making its own food when it develops the true leaves. The next thing, what happened after the young plants grow? Grow already, then how? Okay, the young plant later on will grow and become an adult plant. And when the adult plants flower, gets pollinated and fertilized, the process of reproduction starts all over again. So as you can see, it's step one, right? Pollination, step two, fertilization, step three, dispersal, step four, germination. And although I say step one, two, three, four, it's actually a cycle. That's why we our, our booklet here is means what cycles. Okay? Everything is repeated and repeated. And that's all from my discussion for this step for germination. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye.